in church? Food. Come on, church. Chow down. Come on, church. a second. God, he chewed his way out. Jesus, boy, Christ. <laughs> I tried to tell myself that I buried him alive. I'm not a vet. It was dark. Sure it was dark. But his head swiveled on his neck like it was full of ball bearings. When you moved him, he pulled out of the frost, Lewis. Sounded like a piece of ticky tape coming off a letter. Live things don't do that. You only stop melting the frost on the way you're laying when you're dead. Well, I feel like I'm going crazy. The ragman told me about the place. He was half Micmac himself. He knew how I felt about my dog, Spot. Spot had got caught in Bob wire, infected. When he died, I thought I was gonna die. Ragman did for me what I did for you last night. Only I wasn't alone when Spot came back. My mother was with me. You still see the Bob wire marks on him. came back all right. Spot. It was not quite the same dog that I knew. Spot. When he died peacefully in the night that second time, I buried him up there in the Pet Cemetery, where, as you saw, his bones still lie. Man doesn't always know why he does things, Lewis. I think I did it, because your daughter ain't ready for her favorite pet to die. Maybe with more time, she'll learn what death really is, which is where the Pain stops and the good memories begin. Has anyone ever buried a person up there? Christ on his throne, no. And whoever would. Here's a local boy. It's towards the end of the Second World War. His name was Timmy Baderman. He was killed on his way home. Second World War. His father, Bill Baderman, was grief struck. He was so grief struck, he buried his son up there before he ever had a chance to get the bottom of the truth. I'll bite, Chad. What's the bottom of the truth? Well, sometimes death is better. The person you put up there ain't the person that comes back. It may look like that person, but it ain't that person, because whatever lives in the ground beyond the pet cemetery ain't human at all. <laughs> it was four or five days after Timmy's funeral, when Margie Washburn seen Timmy walking up the road towards Yorkie's livery. As time went by, lots of folks saw Timmy walking back and forth. Margie, who finally came to some of us men folks and said it had to be stopped. She knew it was an abomination. The horse men sat down and talked it out. Then we got into my car and went over to Baderman Place to take care of it. One way or the other. Going up. Go away. Get out while you still can, Bill. Bring 